is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. First names, Kid Lit, an organic category. Colorful language. I beg your pardon. And who's your daddy? Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. Wild Bill Hickok's real first name was James. This was Buffalo Bill Cody's. Player one. Yeah! You are correct. Player one. Jennifer is a form of this other first name made famous by King Arthur's wife. Player one. <laughs> Select again. This first name, like that of the guy who married Medea, is from a Greek word for healer. Yes, player one. That's right. Way to go. You again, player one. This first name of Miss Marple's creator comes from a word that means good. It's player one. You are correct. You get to pick a... As a verb, this first name means to send mail free of charge. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> you again, player one. A game of hide-and-seek leads Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy into this land that's always winter and never Christmas. Yes, player two. Woo! Yep. <laughs> Where do we begin, player two? Leroy Brown is the real name of the boy detective with this bookish nickname. Yes, player one? Good. <laughs> player one, you start. This Louise Fitzhugh Lass spies on her classmates and writes about them in her secret notebook. Okay, player one? That's correct. <laughs> Player one, back in a Frances Hodgson Burnett tale, Mary Lennox tends to the secret this. Let's hear it, Player two. You yeah! got it. A lot of clues. This Kipling lad goes on a Himalayan journey with a Tibetan Lama. It's Player one. <laughs> Player one, you start. A dialysis machine is also called an artificial one of these organs. Let's hear it, Player three. That's correct. <laughs> Player three, alveoli are tiny sacs clustered like grapes in these organs. It's player one. Right. <laughs> player one. Though this organ has no known use, it can harm you if it ruptures, creating the risk of peritonitis. Player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> player one. 
The hepatic duct carries bile from the liver to this organ for storage. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Where do we begin, player three? The islets of Langerhans aren't a vacation spot, but a group of cells in this organ. It's player two. Yes. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories, player two. Classified advertising section of the phone book listing subscribers by type of business. Player one. <laughs> good. Player one. A karate kid may aspire to this high rank, kuroi obi in Japanese. Player two. Good. <laughs> All right, let's get this fastest of dogs is one of the oldest breeds. Its likeness appears on an ancient Egyptian tomb. Okay, player two. Good. <laughs> Player two. A California National Park is named for this tallest living type of tree. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. <laughs> player one. This colorful name for the U.S. Army Special Forces comes from their unique hats. Yes, player three. <laughs> Player three, start us. Gerald Ford issued 382 pardons, but the one issued to this man in 1974 is said to have cost Ford the 1976 election. Okay, player three. Yes. <laughs> Player three. In 1994, he was pardoned for leading a coup versus the president of Venezuela. By 1999, he was the president. Let's hear it, player two. Yeah. Right you are. <laughs> player two. In 2001, she was pardoned for a 1974 armed bank robbery and for using a firearm during a felony. Player two. <laughs> right. We return to you. <laughs> and so, it's the Daily Double. You're in second right now. Please enter your wager. Here is your clue. The Wall Street Journal wanted an immediate pardon for him after his perjury conviction in the Valerie Plame case. You are now in first place. Player two, back to you. This Secretary of Defense was pardoned for his role in Iran-Contra. Let's hear it, player one. Right you are. <laughs> Where do we begin, player one? 24 star Kiefer. Player two. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get back into actress Jamie Lee. Let's hear it, player three. Good. <laughs> Player three, international pop star Enrique. Yes, player three. <laughs> That's right, way to go. Player three, ba boxer turned dancer Lila. Let's hear it, player three. That's correct. <laughs> 
Here's the $1,000 clue for you. Emmy and Tony Award-winning actress, Amanda. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. Player three, you're going first in double jeopardy, and we'll start that round right after this break. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. The Fabulous Fifties Assassin and Victim Death of an Author Key to the City Name that planet and Retronyms All right, if you're ready, it's Double Jeopardy time. Elementary, my dear Watson. Leslie Howard's son Ronald played him on a 1954 TV series. It's player one. That's right, way to go! Player one. A series of nightmares that C.S. Lewis had about these animals inspired him to write his first Narnia book. It's player one. That's correct. <laughs> you get to pick again. This future U.S. First Lady went to England to cover Queen Elizabeth II's coronation for the Washington Times Herald. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> player one. Back. <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. You are in first place. How much are you going to wager, player one? Answer this. This actor hit the top 40 with the song Moonlight Swim. A few years later, he went psycho. That puts you even further ahead. Player one. Pick Cary Grant's wife, Betsy Drake, survived the 1956 sinking of this ocean liner. Okay, player three. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player three, start us. Marcus Junius Brutus et al., 44 BC. Let's hear it, player three. Yes. <laughs> Player three, James Earl Ray, 1968. Player two. <laughs> That's it. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player two, not the room God say, 1948. Let's hear it, player two. That's correct. <laughs> Select again. Leon Cholgosh, 1901. Yes, player three. Good. <laughs> player three. Yigal Amir, 1995. It's player one. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. She died on July 18, 1817, after dealing with some pride and prejudice in her day. Yes, player two. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> All right, let's go. On September 28, 1891, he died in New York City after a whale of a life. Player one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Player one? No amount of electricity could reanimate her on February 1st, 1851. Player one?
Yes. <laughs> you get to pick again. After October 19, 1745, he would make no more modest proposals. It's player two. Yep. <laughs> Where do we begin, player It two? was this author, not the wallpaper, who went on November 30th, 1900. Yes, player three? Good. <laughs> player three? You start. Check out the key of Karakoy in this city known as Constantinople during the Byzantine Empire. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. <laughs> player one, you start. Government building on Lambton Quay in this New Zealand capital is one of the world's largest wooden buildings. It's player two. <laughs> All right, let's get back. A large stone key built by the French in 1780 is still used in Port-au-Prince, its capital. Okay, player two. <laughs> yep. You again, player two. We wonder whether a steamroller was used to form the many keys of this German city chartered in 1607. Player one? Yes. <laughs> Player one, make a selection, please. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> the other daily double. You are in first place. What will it be? Answer this. Circular Key is a hub of transportation and tourism in this city. That puts you even further ahead. Player one, back to you. Christian Huygens wrote about this planet's rings back in 1659. Player two. Player two. Instrument-laden rovers landed on this planet in 2004. It's player three. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player three. The great red spot on this planet is actually a giant storm. Yes, player three. Good. <laughs> Player three, back. A year on this planet is 88 days long. Okay, player two. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Where do we begin, player two? In the wake of a recent demotion, this is now the outermost planet. Let's hear it, player two. Good. <laughs> we return to you, player two. Retronyms were created by putting this word before coffee and gasoline. Okay, player two. Good for you. <laughs> player two. As opposed to digital, it's the kind of watch with a face and hands. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot of clues. Merriam-Webster's example of a retronym is console this. Yes, player three. <laughs> Good. Player three. Frank Mankiewicz, the coiner of the word retronym, says one of his favorites is two parent this. It's player two. 
Yeah, good. <laughs> And the last clue for two thousand dollars, the Washington Post called "Live This" a classic retronym. Okay, player three. Hey, you're right. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you all for Final Jeopardy in just a moment. Here comes the Final Jeopardy players. The category is this. American publishing. So, what's your wager? All right, players. This is what it comes down to. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. The 1860 frontier novel Malaeska, the first of its kind. Sold 300,000 copies for total sales revenue of this. What did you put as your response? With that correct response, you will gain. What did you put as your response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? What did you put as your response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You're the winner. Thanks for playing, everybody. See you next time.